Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here in Maui. Yep, we're only here for a day, so we're yes. leaving tomorrow afternoon. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got in. Uh, we just came straight from the airport to a lunch spot, which is uh, got real high ratings on yes. Yelp. So we have to try it out. Yes, it's called uh, Ichiban Okazuya. Yeah. And it's uh, only, it seems like only takeout. Right? Yes. Only takeaway. No right. tables are here. So I'm really, really ready. Yes, eat. yes. Uh, it is about noontime. We can't check into the hotel around three or four. So uh, until then, we'll do a little food tour yes. of this area, uh -huh. which will. is uh, about, about Five ten minutes uh, near the airport. Yes, it's like west of it the is. airport. Mm -hmm. What so, was the town called? Um, this we're in um, uh, Kahului. Yes. Yeah, that, that, the airport is called Kahului, so we're in Kahului. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's get in line. Go wild. Uh, yeah. What are these? Cocks? Uh, no. <laughs> what are they? Roosters. That's what they are, man. <laughs> we got our combo meal. Check this out. La combination of Korean fried chicken, some breaded fried mahi mahi with rice and chow fun as your side. Now you could get like potato mac, but you know we always get potato mac on all of the uh, the plate lunches we get, but we never had chow fun before. So this is it, first meal in the, uh, Maui right here. I gotta try this chow fun out. You heard the rooster in the background. It's crawling uh, away. I, I think I started the recording okay. afterwards, babe, but. This looks good. Uh, there is no mm. seating at this. It's only a mm -hmm. take takeaway place. <laughs> so. But we do car reviews all the time. Yes, here we go. This is our, this is our little rental right here. Chow fun. The noodles are very well cooked. The onion in here, really fresh. Chicken. That's a big piece of chicken for a chow it's fun. Good. Huh? It's a good chicken. This is really good, not salty at all. This is. <laughs> the chicken is right behind us, or the rooster is right behind us. This is Holy an excellent meal. Yeah, you're right. There he is. Excellent uh, meal to start with. Yeah, try the uh, Korean fried chicken. I'll try the chicken. KFC out, Korean fried yeah, chicken. Yeah, uh, this it's uh, famous over here. I saw a lot of reviews on it. Mm. It's not crunchy, like you would think a Korean fried chicken is, but the taste is there. <laughs> it's your friend. Babe. This is so Maui. Here we go, the breaded mahi mahi. It feels nice and crispy, like with uh, panko or something. Dip it into that tartar sauce. That is a very good mahi mahi. Very moist fish. It's not dried out at all. The tartar sauce is perfect. A little bit on the lighter side. So the flavor of the mahi really comes out. It is a nice hearty fish. The breading is nice and thin, as you see. It's excellent. This will be great in like a mahi, mahi sandwich with mm -hmm. some uh, lettuce, tomato, some tartar sauce. Well, just eating it like this is great. It's gonna match with the, uh, the chow fun and the rice. We're off to a great start. We made it to Ululani Shave Ice. Ululani, uh, uh, they're only about a mile away from uh, the Ichiban or Kazuya. Yeah. So it's very close. And uh, which flavor did we get here? We got the Lahaina, which is the pineapple, coconut, and what was Banana. It? Banana. Yeah, so, so <laughs> we should get that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I think there's what, six locations here on Maui? There is, and then we did a little light dusting of the Lihimui yes. cutter. Yes, gotta have the Lihimui. Yep. Yeah, and try it out, go ahead babe. I got my little spoon too. I have the ice cream underneath, but we're just gonna try the shave ice. Cheers. Doink. Mm. Wow. So soft. 
Yeah. That banana, I like banana on mm -hmm. save ice now. It's, mm -hmm. it's so natural flavor. It's it not just tastes very artificial at all. Right, and there's the ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. They have different flavor ice cream, so we have vanilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. one thing that uh, this shave ice, you could definitely tell it's very finely, yeah. finely shaven. This is delicious. We miss it. Yeah. I mean, we have a few places back at home mm -hmm. that does shave ice, but here on the island, you have to do it. It's okay. It is semi the same, but I don't know if it's just the atmosphere, the ambiance, baby. What do you think? Baby? I think so. Definitely yeah. the ambiance right mm -hmm. here. It is so soft, it's pillowy soft. You could almost go, go sleep on it. Almost. <laughs> yep, perfect. So we're gonna work on this. Yeah. And uh, enjoy. Who wants a bite? I do. That was very good shave ice. It is. Highly yeah. recommend yes. it. But now we are just right up the block, I think less than a mile. Uh -huh. We're at Steel Whales Bakery, yeah. which is right behind us. We're thinking of coming here in the morning for uh, breakfast. We're not sure though, but we're gonna check out the bakery side. We hear some of the baked goods are like legit, and so we're gonna go try it out. Yeah, in fact, the parking lot is full. Yes. Um, they open here at like 6.30 in the morning, so it's perfect to hit up your early morning flight like, like we do. Yeah, right. But yeah, we're gonna come spock it out though to see, see what's good. Yeah, these look really good right here, huh? Are they the cookies? Yeah. They're the pecan butter bra. Butter bra. The pecan butter bra shortbread cookies. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Tempting. It is. <laughs> we couldn't help ourselves. We had to pick up something. What did we get, babe? We got a mini cream horn and yes. banana cream pie. Recommended by the person who is bringing us that. Yes. She says this one is not as sweet as the coconut cream pie, which we're mm -hmm. gonna try, but this is gonna be Yeah, good. and they also had a, uh, a mac nut cream pie as they well. They did, mm -hmm. yeah. And the cream horn comes the mini cream horn, highly recommended, and they have a regular size cream horn, which is probably like three or four times the size of this one. Yeah. This one's a big one. Yeah, it looks okay. really good. Yeah. We're gonna dig into this. It's a crazy looking cream horn. It is. And that's a mini. This is a mini. It's had some uh, powdered sugar on top, chocolate on both ends, and you can just tell that this uh, crust is flaky. Here we go, and it's cold too. That's it, baby. It's ridiculous. You dip the words right out of my mouth. It is ridiculous. It is so light, flaky. That cream in the middle is not very sweet at all. Great milk chocolate on the outside. Could barely taste the powdered sugar. It makes me want to get the full size. Not this little mini one. This is just like a teaser. You gotta okay. try that cream. I one. gotta try this. Yeah. The chocolate reminds me of a Hershey's chocolate bar. Cream, really creamy. The pastry, very flaky. This custard is a dream. Mm -hmm. Banana cream pie, they give you a giant slice of the banana cream pie. Look at that crust. Yeah, that crust. Now, if you have allergies and nuts, I don't know if these crusts are good for you because it's usually macadamia nuts on here. I'm pretty sure they have something different. Uh, but this is the ones they have now. Macadamia nut plus banana cream. <laughs> I know. It's almost like a match made in heaven. Yeah, I'm try it out. Try out right here. Really soft crust. Get a little bit of that crust in there. Get the banana. That's a perfect bite right there. That crust is perfectly 
perfectly sweet. So now that's banana it, huh? is fresh. The cream is delightful. Right this is absolutely scrumptious. We were just gonna try this out only because, I mean, we just ate and we just had dessert, so we're kind of full. This is dessert number two. But we thought we'd just come on by, try something, and then maybe save it for later. I don't know if this is gonna be even saved for later. Once you try this out, once you try this, I honestly can say this is the best banana cream pie I have ever tasted. Wow. Mm-hmm. Man, I, wow. want, I want in on that action. Mm -hmm. This looks like the ultimate bite. You thought your bite looked good. This one looks better. Look at that. And was I talking it up? That's a good banana cream pie. <laughs> You're right. Excellent. So creamy. So banana-y, if that's a word. You got whipped cream and those macadamia nut on the uh, outer crust. That's it. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Is this the best banana cream pie you tasted, baby? It is. Yeah, I agree. Best. Made it to our hotel. Yeah, this is where we're staying, the Maui Seaside Hotel. Right, uh, right across from the lobby is a uh, bay, I think. Right, baby. Yeah, it's like a yeah protected harbor or something. And then right, but right after that is the beach. Yes. Let's see if we can check in. Good news. Our room is ready. Yes. So we just checked in. Here is our pool and there's the bay right there. We're going to yeah. go check it out. Of course, we're going to take a closer look of course, and we we're going to look at our room. Yeah. This is our room at the Maui Seaside Hotel. It, it, was, it is bigger than, than we're expecting. Got this through Hotel Tonight, the app that we always suggest we use on our phones. So it comes with two double beds. Uh, check out the bathroom. It's a little bit, I mean, the overall design is a little bit dated, but it is clean. Everything is, is functional and nice. Yeah, it's a nice bathroom. Yeah. Here's your amenities they give you. Right. And then uh, over here we have a pretty good sized desk, uh, some artwork on the wall, a refrigerator uh, right behind you, and a little coffee maker. Of course, uh, there's also a closed steamer as well as a blow dryer. And those are your pool towels, the one with the blue stripe. Right. And a little flat panel television right here. And air conditioning really works. It does. It is a uh, in-wall air conditioning unit, but it is nice and cool in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're on the ground level, so it's not much of a view because this is the standard. Uh, this is not the one that faces the swimming pool or part of the ocean. So this is about the base as you could get for this room. Price. $272 per night plus a $15 resort fee. So yes, it does seem high, but if you look at the hotel prices here on this island, it's one of the cheapest ones. Now, that's just how it is. I don't know if it's for the season or because of spring break. It is what it is, $272. So this is it. I just think Maui or just in any Hawaiian islands are expensive, babe. Yeah, they are. Aren't they? Yeah, because we've been looking around for our prices for a while now. And this was a good deal. Yeah, it not. and it's a nice room. It is. It it's is. a nice room. Yep. For one night, I almost want to stay longer. One night here, Maui Seaside. Now we're ready to hit the beach and the pool. Uh, like you mentioned earlier, here's the main swing pool, and just beyond that is the lobby where you check in. And it's like an open air lobby, so as soon as you walk through to the lobby, come to the pool you have uh, hotel buildings on both sides and then we'll get some beach access right through the open in the chain link fence I believe this is the bay though I think the beach is kind of over there yeah. we'll check it out this is all new to us yeah so literally here's the, the hotel and the beach is right here yeah it's, it's a little bit windy, but the water looks nice.
We almost got the whole beach to ourselves. Almost. It's this, like literally there's, there's no one around. Yeah, the sand is so fine. It's yes. really nice. It's not like all of Moana Beach, a little bit rocky. Yeah, the one over there in Oahu, it, yeah. you need some uh, some water socks or something. Yeah. yeah. But, but this is very fine, yeah. fine sand. Yeah. I love it. Is the water cold, babe? A little bit. The, uh, it the, actually isn't. Yeah, it isn't. We're just trying to get used to it. The um, ocean water was much warmer. But yes. Yeah. Uh, again, there's no one here. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I like it. I mean, there were some people here earlier, but they are gone. Mm, yep, for Tuesday, it's not that bad at all. No, it's mm. not. Yeah. This is why we like our weekends on weekdays. Have they? Yeah. Less crowd and the mm. rooms are cheaper. Yep. I love it. Yep. Cool if you kind of do that swim up kind of effect. Let's swim up. No, I don't want to go my head in the water. You're crazy, please. Well, anyway, we thought <laughs> we'd take this break right now. Uh, just to remind everyone, uh, when I look at the metrics on our page, only only 40% of all of our viewers are subscribed. Wow. So 60% are just watching it and not subscribing. So we want to remind you, um, you know, if you feel like it, Click on the subscribe button. It just takes like one second. Two. That's why he's our YouTube manager because I have no idea. Yeah, and you know, it, it, it just helps distribute the YouTube uh, videos around. That's mm -hmm. all it does. And don't forget, I, I'm the one that manages the Facebook page. So we do have a Facebook page and it's pretty real time. So go ahead and uh, join that Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Instagram person. I pretty much post up like where we are if you guys are ever curious right away yeah so and it also gives you a preview on where, where we are mm -hmm. right because this video it won't come out till a few couple days couple days, later. Couple right. days yeah we're usually within a week of when we film sometimes we're a week out especially if we go on a cruise um it kind of takes a while huh baby yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and also uh, another reminder we're going to keep giving these little reminders mm -hmm. just so people get used to it but we do finally have a mailing address we do and that's in the video description of every video mm -hmm. now video description it's also on our facebook page yeah um when he when he join our instagram and we have separate instagrams it's on the description of the youtube that's so we right. have separate instagrams and um, he always posts and always tags me of when the next video is out and it's also he has also the all the information there right right so now we're just gonna enjoy this pool just a little bit more mm -hmm. and then we're gonna get out and do uh, some shopping because there's a lot of stores just right across yeah, the street some sightseeing yeah what do you do like stand back on it okay. see that way you get more view of the outside oh yeah there, right? <laughs> okie dokie here at Starbucks, what I love about the Starbucks ones in Hawaii, they have specialty cups for Hawaii. Like, they have, the, first of all, the Hawaii cup, and just the Maui cup. This is like the Hawaiian collection. Yeah, this one has a little umbrella, right? And this one? Yeah, metal. Yeah, it's nice. Cool. Yeah. And what? They have bags, too. Mm -hmm. This one says Aloha. This one here says Aloha. Yeah, you don't find that in Cali. At least I don't think so. I don't go to a Starbucks a lot anymore. So I don't think we can find these in, uh, at least where we live. So this place is like maybe a half a mile from the hotel yeah, that we're at. Really close from our hotel. Queen Kama, oh, I can't look at it again. Kaha Amanu uh, Shopping Center. Yeah, so we dip, we just jumped in at Starbucks and got, what, what do we get, a peach? We got a peach ice, a peach green tea, lemonade. I'll try it out. We wanted something uh, kind of refreshing. Oh, it's good. Very peachy. Very peachy, a little bit on the sweet side, a little bit on the tart side. This will be perfect. Yeah, so we're just going to stroll around into yeah. this mall and just see what's, what's, what's in here. What's going on? Yeah. A pop-up farmer's market. Oh yeah, this is the freshly baked, you know, local kind Oh yeah, bread. look at that. Banana bread with magnets. Oh, oh, that's not a bad price either, look. No. $4. Yeah, it's a good price. Yeah. So they have a lot of snacks here, and across the way they got fresh vegetables. They do. Yeah. That's going to wrap it up for our first few hours here on Maui. Yeah, yeah we did a lot. 
they we did, did a lot. do a lot. Yeah, yeah. But we have some we have uh, some dinner plans tonight, and then we mm -hmm. have some breakfast tomorrow morning before we leave. And that's going to be on another video. Yeah, that's why we kind of dressed up little uh, fancy like mm -hmm. because we're going to a, a like a sushi place. We're going dinner. to a fancy pants. Yeah. Dinner. So yeah, downstairs we couldn't help it. We did buy some of that yeah, banana bread. We did, but we're going to try it later. We're going to try it yeah. later. But we also bought some chicharron. Yeah, that's right. We have to, and these chicharron. They look like they have, it's not just the skin, it looks like they have some sort of like meaniness to it. I mean, they have some weight to it. Really? Look oh, at that. Yeah. You ready to try them, babe? Okay. What do you think? Crunchy. Does it have like some meaniness to it? Uh, not on that one, but there's definitely some good pork rinds flavor. Mm. Mm-hmm. And usually pork rinds are just the skin, but this one has a little bit of a fat with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, if there's such thing as a as a moist pork rind that's crunchy, this is it. This is it. But I know we can't eat too much of it because it's gonna ruin our dinner. But we're good. You know what we need? Some beer. Cholula. Some beer uh, with I this. I need some like Cholula. Cholula. Yeah, they're pouring all over. This is Hawaii. They don't have no Cholula. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Yeah. Maybe but some Frank's good. Red Hot. Yeah. And uh, we did get some uh, souvenirs. Yeah. For, for the kids. Everybody back home. So, we can't see it. it's in the white bag. But Except for Nico. Nico's the hard one to shop for. Got some cool shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it, right? That's it. Okay, well, stay tuned for our second part here in Maui. Mm -hmm. It's going to be just as fun and exciting. It will be. I hope. Should I do some shout outs? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me do the shout outs on this one. Yeah. We do have a few. Oh, we, we do. I wasn't prepared. Yeah. In, in fact, um, a fan reached out to you on Facebook that lives yeah, here. Yeah, that lives here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Saying, telling me that her, her mom was watching. Let me give you the name. Oh, the bag. Let's see Ooh. what's going on here. It is. Alrighty. Jeanette. Jeanette and uh, her grandkids watch us all the time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. I know we're in your island right now. Yes. And we're enjoying it. We're loving it. Yeah. Hopefully next time we'll stay a little longer. I mean, we are leaving tomorrow, so hopefully next time we'll stay a little longer. Oh yeah, yeah. And for I sure. think they're on the Kihei side. They're on the other side of the island. We're oh, staying it, near the airport. It would have been a long drive for her to come over here. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah for sure. We're gonna visit a lot more part of the island next time. We will. This is just a little short recon trip. We will. Uh, shout outs. Babe. And then I do have some other shout outs. Yes. Uh, Scott Graham and his sisters, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Evan, happy birthday. Nicole, happy birthday. Carlos, happy birthday. Nicole, happy 35th. There's another Nicole. Yes. Happy 35th birthday. And Matt and Henderson, thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. We got it, babe. That's it. That's it. Okay, great. Well, uh, yeah, happy birthday, everybody. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, stay tuned for our second part. Yes. So until then, we'll catch you guys in the next one.